It was a shot, but Kanu's turned it into a goal for him. Well, there might be a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel here for Arsenal. Kanu! He's got his second! And it's 2-2! Having been one of the most celebrated African footballer in the world and after suffering a heart condition, former Super Eagles captain Nwanko Kanu will come to Kenya to visit patients with heart problems at the Kenyatta National Hospital as part of Kanu Heart Foundation initiative which he founded in the year 2000. Our options are open. From these academies what we are able to see will open our eyes on the, more, the bigger contribution that we can be able to have in terms of the talented kids that, we are, that are able to, re, to be realized from these academies. So our options are open. Uh, once Kano is, on, uh, is in the country and uh, has an experience of what is happening on the ground, he has his own programs. We can be able to identify and see how, how, what can we be able to do from what we have uh, learned from Kenya and how can we be able to develop from there. The 40-year-old former Arsenal and Ajax midfielder will also grace a 16-team inaugural media challenge and conduct football clinics for children in Nairobi and its environs. We are laying the ground to have consistency in terms of what we are doing in terms of uh, grassroots uh, football. And if we can start from the academies, identifying effective, well-managed, because I think that's, uh, that's the biggest challenge which is there, very well-managed uh, academies, then we are able to establish structures that will ensure that long term we are able to oversee the uh, progression and see what we can be able to do beyond uh, visiting the academies and supporting them with kids. Media houses will be part of the Kanu initiative and will engage in a football tournament where the champions will pocket 50,000 shillings with second and third place taking home 30 and 20,000 shillings respectively.